Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mechanical Design 3. Uh, we're about to get started on kind of an exciting little delve into the world of machinery. Um, the part of this course, what we're going to do is look at how to best convey the design to the manufacturer so I think it's built correctly. And what I want to do is kind of introduce you just briefly, ever so briefly, to our main project that we'll be working on throughout the semester um, that you'll then do your own personal project along on the side to understand the manufacturing side of things so that we can kind of have a good time. So what we're gonna do, first of all, on personal projects is I need you to be somewhat creative here. You are going to have the choice of different manufacturing operations that you can use on your project. So one method will be um, to make a resin uh, part from a 3D model. So 3D modeling is always a prototype. It's the beginning of that final. So you'll take a, your 3D model. You're going to make a mold of that. Uh, either you're going to use one of two methods, well, three methods. You're going to use silicone, sand, or what's called vestment uh, in order to create your final part. Um, with the silicone, you can do either resin or uh, wax, if you want to do a wax model or you can even go into, in some cases, metal in silicone. Now, there's a couple of things about that we'll talk about, but you're limited on how many models you can make with um, silicone that handles the temperature of melted metal. The other option is sand. You do a sand casting, uh, and that is really where just making a really fancy sand castle print is really what it's kind of like. Then third is vestment, which is for smaller parts usually, uh, investment's a pretty lengthy process. It does take a couple of days for that to go through. Uh, it's probably the slowest of the methods, uh, but can be quite precise in its outcome. So you're then not make something very large. Um, just kind of get back in here, but start thinking about things that you would like. You can make things like um, doorknobs, kind of work really well, posts for dressers. You could do um, uh, pendants. You could do fancy um, uh, jewelry. If you want to do jewelry, that's still part of the manufacturing process. Uh, you can make um, uh, belt buckles if you're into that. Um, just get a couple ideas of things you can make out of um, a project. It does need to be something that is utilitarian, meaning it needs to have a purpose for being, not just a lump of metal or a lump of wax or a lump of resin. It's got to have a purpose to it. So Start thinking about what things you're interested in and what things you might want to do, and we'll talk about that later. Meanwhile, I'm going to move my little image here and kind of introduce you to our part. So in class, we're going to build this little piston engine here. Um, it is a fully working model that you're going to put together. Um, it does function as it should, so everything works inside. It's a moving, uh, animated little piston action there um, that we're then build together. And you're then then create the dimension drawings that would go off onto the manufacturer and make sure it's built the way it's designed. So it's gonna be kind of fun. Um, I think it's fun. So your time will mainly be spent making working drawings and modeling your part. So between the two things, you should have a pretty good understanding of what kind of things you can build and create. So. I'm looking forward to working with you on your individual projects, especially, and getting to know you all just a little bit better, and uh, have a great semester. See you soon.